Hey guys, it's Nuo Master, and welcome to another Redstone video. In this video, I'll be showing off another binary to BCD decoder that I made. Um, this one is uh, actually on the OR Redstone server. Um, it's probably the smallest binary to BCD decoder that you can make. Pretty much the smallest. This is based on serial communication, so um, it basically sends the number in, shifts it in with a pulse, with pulses, and then it does the uh, converting live as the um, data is streaming in. And then when it's done, uh, there's a timing delay here. This save these um, this line right here saves the uh, number into these uh, bezel flops here. And then uh, this little circuit over here uh, just makes sure that um, this line, all these are off. Uh, it powers this, which keeps this torch off basically. When you stream a number in here, sometimes it can infinite loop um, doing calculations. And once it's done calculating, it just shuts that off so it's ready for the next calculation. Anyway, let's actually do an example here. Um, the least significant bit is on this side, and the most significant bit is on this side. So this is the most significant bit right here. So um, since this is 8 bits, this is 128. And if I press this button, it will stream in. You can see it calculating. And then it's already done. Uh, this is hundreds, tens, ones. So we have 100 and 28. Um, if you don't know how to read binary, you shouldn't be watching this video. I've already said that in many of my other videos, but yeah. <laughs> uh, let's, do, let's do another example. Let's turn all the bits on. That would be 255, since this is 8-bit, as I said. Turning them all on, we'll get you 255. Press the button, and it shifts the number in. You can see that. And then right here, we have our output, 255. The gold, bro gold blocks separate the digits, just to make it a little bit easier. Now, um, this streams at 3 ticks per bit, which is the fastest you can get with um, this kind of decoder setup with the torches, since torches burn out at 2 ticks per bit. And um, also with the logic that this uses, you, um, it needs to be three ticks anyways. So uh, I'm going to do a quick demonstration uh, or quick explanation on how this works. Basically, this module right here on the outside of the device, this is where you input your number. And then this is a monostable here. When you click the monostable, um, let's, uh, let me do an example uh, where every other bit is on. When you click the monostable, it turns this line of repeaters off and then allows the number to come through uh, one tick after each other and then um, there's another two ticks here so one tick going this way and two ticks going this way it makes it three tick per bit that's just how the transmitter works um, you can do all sorts of different designs to transmit but this one worked the best when I was making it um, so when I put hit this button uh, I need a button on the other side just to make this a bit easier. Hit the button. You can see the data streaming through there in pulses. And then what happens is it goes into here, right? It comes in right here on this redstone. Uh, and it goes two places. One place it goes up to this decoder. I'll talk about that later. But the next place it goes over here into this torch which comes down here into this repeater and then into this torch and then into this one and then it just uh, basically repeats that pattern um, it's kind of difficult to see when I'm just talking about it but um, this basically does the same thing that that line of repeaters did it just transmits the signal down so this is basically just a shifter but what's different about this is that since I'm using torches for the shifter, I can disable it. And um, uh, let me demonstrate the shifter once, just so you can see a little bit. Um, I don't know if, how easy that was to see, but 
if you saw it for a second, it went from here to here to here, and then it changed and did other stuff. But, um, yeah, the signal shifts on these here. And then, um, you have these decoders here. These decoders, basically, um, if you know what double dabble, how double dabble works, you know that if a number is greater than four, you need to add three. So, what these decoders do is they check for every instance where a number in a specific BCD digit is greater than four, and then it uses a ROM underneath it to add three. So, if greater than four, then add three, and then the new number is spit right back out into here um, in in three ticks, so it's ready for the next shift. It actually shifts it over. So after three ticks, it spits it out in the shift, um, the next stage downward, if that makes sense, kind of. So instead of shifting that way, it uses the three ticks to decode, and then it shifts using these lines right here. And also, if any of the uh, if uh, number is greater than four at all, if any of these decoder outputs are on it, it outputs to this line which comes over here and disables all of the uh, existing data in the that particular digit so it can um, replace it with a new number. So um, if I had like 5, it would delete the 5 and make it 8 instead since you're adding 3. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I'll do one more demonstration just because this is really cool. Uh, let's do something interesting. How about 15? Why not? So that's 15. And input it. It shifts in. And it goes into the decoder. And it's done already. 1, 5, 15. Now, um, the reason I made this is actually for my calculator. I figure I kind of realize that this other decoder design is just huge. I mean, yes, it's small for how it's laid out, and since it's like combinational, um, it's probably one of the smallest combinational decoders you can make, but I really can't have 20 BCD digits, or uh, 20, 20 binary bits, actually, of this. It'd just be massive, and it wouldn't fit in load limit. So I'm be using this instead, which is you can stack this as many times as you want, and uh, just change the delay on that line and on that, um, and that'll work for my thing. So if I wanted 20 bits, I could expand that, stack this out that way a few times, and I'll be done. It's completely expandable. Very cool. All right. So. Um, Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.